Some schools in Minnesota are seeing firsthand the impact of the supply chain crisis and trucking shortage. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Randy Meyer. And I'm Kelsey Carlson. Some school districts are running into problems getting food to students. Fox 9's Hannah Flood is live in St. Paul with more on that tonight. Hannah. Yeah, school officials tell me one of the major problems that they're running into is finding the people to drive these large quantities of food from distribution warehouses here in the Twin Cities out to these rural school districts. Uh, we've never dealt with anything like this before. At the beginning of the school year, Jessica Snoozy, food service manager for the Thief River Falls School District, got word that the company delivering the food she uses to feed her students couldn't anymore. Very disruptive, especially being at the beginning of the school year when things are already kind of chaotic. Thief River Falls was now one of 57 districts in northwestern Minnesota without a company to supply them food to feed more than 1,000 students a day. They didn't have enough uh, drivers to continue to supply all of their routes. And Darren Cordy, assistant commissioner at the Department of Education, says the company blamed a lack of drivers to bring food from a centralized warehouse in the Twin Cities to these rural districts. They just said we don't have capacity to make all of those deliveries. Forcing schools to find new distributors or face major shortages. We have heard of schools having to go out to you know make Costco runs um, or, or restaurant depot runs. The state helped some districts find new distributors to make sure students stayed fed. In Thief River Falls, the district found a new company on their own. This was an eye opener for sure. And Snoozy hopes supplies stays steady so kids don't go hungry. Our kids need those the nutrients to continue to to learn and get them through the day. But today, state school officials told me they're trying to get more of these USDA warehouse distribution sites opened across the state so trucking companies don't have to make such a long haul down to this one location up to the Twin Cities. But they say that would be a long-term fix. Live in St. Paul tonight, Hannah Flood, Fox 9. Okay, thanks, Hannah.